Hey, I'm back. Hopefully people can hear me now. Um, sorry about that. I don't know what exactly happened, but I am fighting this, uh, this Team Aqua Grunt. Oh, he's level 9. Yeah, you know, sorry again about the, uh, the buggy stream. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it does, it does good. Yeah, always a Pokemon fan. Alright, so I saved this dude. Okay, so... What do you want? Oh. Well, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Wormple. I think... Yeah, I'll just take the, uh... Take the experience. Cool. And fight this bug catcher. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you'll be instantly popular. Um... I don't know, last time I took Pokemon to school I got beat up, and some big kid stole my Pokemon cards. <laughs> uh. Ninkata! Catcher James, of course. Let's take this. This is Cube Channel, not Game Channel. Actually, this is my channel. I can do whatever I want on it, as long as it's not illegal. Uh oh. Oh, he's so weak. <laughs> Uh, my favorite Pokemon game is Gold and Silver. Ah! Uh, effect Spore. Haha. <laughs> what a troll ability. At least, if I'm paralyzed, I can't get poisoned. Big brain. <laughs> okay. So... Berries. The Cherry Berry, uh fixes paralysis, but I'm so close to the Pokemon Center, so... Do I like Sword and Shield? Uh, actually, I didn't really like it. I... So here's my thing with Sword and Shield. I thought the writing was really bad. Like... The storyline made no sense. Yeah. Like, evil corporate guy that gives you a co the cold shoulder. Like, do I have to fight him? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll fight him. Hopefully he doesn't have a... Okay, this is cool. It's okay. I might have to unparalyze my guy, though. Um, good thing is, if... Uh, if I get below, like, 13 HP, uh, I, I will have access to Torrent, which will make Water Gun pretty strong. Um, yeah, the storyline was so dumb. It's like, like, I think what they wanted to do was they wanted to make it a plot twist, right? Like, they wanted to be like, oh, corporate guy who, um, 
who like supports the entire economy. He's evil. Who would have thought? You know, but that made no sense because he was already like a grade A douchebag. Like not only did he ignore you all the time, he um he endorsed uh is it Bead? That like jerk guy who would always just BM you. Like it, it made no sense. Like everyone knew he was already evil. It wasn't really a uh, wasn't much of a plot twist. Uh huh. I do not play Pokemon Go. Not a fan. Sorry. Ooh no, Shroomish. But he's level six. Hopefully, he doesn't have Effect Spore. Why did that like do no damage? I guess I'll just Water Gun. <laughs> Okay, one more tackle and I'll be in torrent range. Yeah. Oh, of course, okay. It's going pretty good. Uh, and John, I did get the signs. They're pretty cool. Thank you so much. The signs look great. Uh, Keenan hasn't been in the office lately, so um, didn't get the chance to show them to him in person. But, uh, yeah, when he gets better. I like this song. I probably won't go and play the expansion pack of, um, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I kind of, like, had enough of Sword and Shield. It was, uh, yeah, it, it didn't really capture my interest. Um, okay. So, so we can go to the gym. All right. Uh, quick question for Phil. Why did she leave me? You're not sub 10, kid. Get good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I have no idea. Um, you're going to have to be a little more specific or a little more introspective. Um... All right, so this is like the the rock gym, so picking picking jewels into it is uh, pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Nope, Zerson. Uh, thank you for joining the stream. Uh, I'm uh, gonna be here for a while. Grinding the Pokemon. Favorite starter from Gen 8? I didn't really have one. I didn't like any of them. I guess the rabbit one was cool. That's what I started with. No, I don't want to learn Bide. No, leave me alone. Okay, I, I guess... I'm just... I'm gonna delete Growl anyway, so... Whatever. How ba Am I gonna... I'm not gonna lose to the... To the Nose Pass? I mean, is it... What is it, like, level 15 or 16? Uh, the GAN 356M is a good cube, so if you're starting off with it, it's a pretty good choice. Um, I mean, I'm one level away from evolving, so... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if I get into, like, torrent range, I can probably, yeah, win against the Mudkip. I mean, uh, against the uh, Nose Pass. But I do acknowledge the Nose Pass. Okay, all right. So let me let me just uh, let's see here. Let's do some routine saves. And uh, for the people asking about online streams for competitions. Uh, we are working on that. It's gonna be fun. 
Uh, have you thought about cubes as mathematical manipulates that could be used to teach students about math? No, uh, I can't teach math. I'm not qualified to teach math. So, I mean, of course I've, like, you know, thought about it, but, uh, yeah, never really thought about it that much, uh, you know, to put it into practice. Geodude. Yeah, thank you for, for coming, uh, Neo Cubes. It's the first time. That's pretty cool. We have we have cubing content as well, so this is not just a Pokemon live stream. Uh, okay. I I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Uh, this is not a Nuzlocke. If it was a Nuzlocke, I think I would have been dead already. Yeah. There's no way we can lose against this. Yeah, but uh, the um, nose, this trainer does have a potion, so yeah, yeah, she's gonna use the potion. Does she have another potion? Okay, whatever, you cheater. <laughs> yeah, so for the online content, uh, we're going to be making some competitions. Uh, and also... Uh, we, we make videos. We have over 200 videos. We're going to continue to make those. Okay, so my guy is going to evolve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I heard you like Mudkip. There was one time, you know that meme where like there are just two Mudkips sitting on the rock and they're talking? Um, I once had that, I like fell asleep listening to it, and it was the 10 hour one, so I woke up about like 7 hours in. Cheapest magnetic 4x4? Uh, I mean Yusu V2M. It's a good cube. Oh. This is, this is the world where you can only use the TM once. And apparently you can't run inside buildings. Hey, get out of the way. Let's go steal the thing. Wait, please, don't take my goods. Okay. Uh... I still haven't caught a Pokemon. Um, I probably should. Hello. Uh, the MGC 4x4 is uh, a really good 4x4. It's not going to be the cheapest 4x4 out there, but it's pretty good. I, I have one in the office, and it's it's a good, very good cube. It's got uh, no really obvious shortcomings, so it's fun to play with. We had a programmer uh, in the past, but he was really flaky and had no backbone, so he never finished his projects. That was uh, about four years ago. Uh, 
I have nine water guns left. <laughs> but I guess I do have an ether, right? Do you estimate the MGC 4x4? I have no idea. Possibly, um. Possibly next month? Oh man, I'm getting destroyed. Ow. Leave me alone, dude. Ah, uh, effect spore. <laughs> okay. Am I going to die? Uh, you're a high school teacher who teaches computer science, looking for side projects. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I, I mean, making a timer is a cool project. It is very useful. People will, like, definitely use it. It's just not the most sensible thing for a retail business to do. Because, um, I mean, the, re the role of the retail business is to sell cubes, so... Yeah, but if, uh, you know, there are resources, then for sure, it'd be a fun fun project. Uh, we do have an Ouchwong Worm in the office. It's a pretty good cube. I, I can't say for sure that it's better than the Vault 5. But, uh, it's good cube. I think some people at least will like it better than the Vault 5. So, I am gonna catch this Talo. Yeah, let's name this Talo. Okay, the tail the tail is also jewels. Okay, so here is where it gets awkward. Um, okay, I guess double battle. Uh, hopefully, the tail will survive. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You know, uh, it's good that Stanley says he likes the Ouchwan Worm over the Vault Five. We, at least we have one person who who likes the cube better. That's cool. Let me just take a picture of this. This is pretty funny. If you run through a spinner sight line, they will always turn to face you. Okay. Didn't know that. Good to know. Hopefully I don't get poisoned. <laughs> yeah. But um, if the if the guy in the top left was a spinner, then he's I, I would get a double battle anyway, because there was a guy on the right. How do you see the cubicle making most of this period of quarantine? Don't take this as a profiteering or anything, just a naive question. I mean, we're just gonna do our best. I mean, we have fewer staff in at the office, so, you know, we just gotta do what we gotta do. Paralysis. Whatever. Also, Jules got it. Yeah. 
Hey, quick attack. Sweet. Okay, I should probably unparalyze, right? I have one potion left, but it's completely fine because I can just buy more. And uh, I think I need to get cut in the in Rustboro. Favorite Gen 1 starter was probably Bulbasaur, not for any particular reason. Any tips on improving up to well? Um, it's hard to answer the question without knowing, you know, what you're doing on F2L. But uh, generally, I think just making sure that none of the sequences you're using to create your pairs is too long, that would be nice. And if anything feels like it's too many moves, look it up and uh, yeah. How much do I have to spend at the cubicle for you to admit that cello is better than the violin? I don't know. I, I like the violin better because I play the violin. <laughs> uh, this is not a Nuzlocke. Oh, I think there's an item here, right? Is there an item here? No? Okay. Alright. So... Oh, uh, this guy stole Pico. Okay, sure. The guy is quite the villain. Uh, the Max Autograph, um, I should probably run away from this. Whismur, I believe, gives HP EVs, which is not all that interesting. Okay. Uh, did I start playing the violin before tennis? Yes. I did. Violin's a lot of fun. Maybe I can do a violin stream sometime. <laughs> uh, the Maylong 9x9 is pretty good. It's better than all the other 9x9s. And it's cheaper, right? Because it's Maylong. Where are you coming? <laughs> Come get some. I'm surprised the... Uh, I'm surprised the uh, Pico just didn't run away okay oh I have to fight this guy I was gonna run away <laughs> If we turned out that cube was a way to learn math, would we think we can position ourselves as a place to supply cubes to students? I mean, we already do that. I mean, we already position ourselves as a supplier of cubes in North America. Putting a math spin on it isn't too hard, but it should probably be something really well documented. Uh, but if it was, then sure, that'd be a great position. Okay, so this guy, this guy has a boat, right? And he's gonna, like, take you on the boat. Okay. Sweet. Um, hopefully no more Whismers, thank you. What is this? Okay. Um, first patch of grass. Awesome. Whismur. <laughs> yeah, some point I gotta buy some repels. How long have I been playing Pokemon games? Since I was like nine years old, so more than twenty years. <laughs> Yeah, I've been on Pokemon for a while. Uh, where do I get cut? Hold on. This guy uh, is going to take me to his company.
president's office. Sweet. Shipyard to Slateport. So this guy... What a jerk, dude. He's getting us to do his work for him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where are you from, yes or no? Yeah. Okay, so letter to Steven, package to Slateport. Pokenav, okay, at least he's paying something. It has a map of the Hoenn region? Okay, that's not worth much. I mean, if maps were... Uh, go with caution and care, okay. And look, I can't run in this guy's office either. Cheater. Okay. <laughs> no. I don't want to call no one. <laughs> this is a scriptic phone call. All right. What a creepy guy. Hope I don't have to pay for the minutes. This is the Cutter's house, right? Okay. Um, alright. So, that's the thing. Um... I, no one on my party knows cut, or can learn cut, so let me just buy some stuff. Oh, I see May. Alright, so let's buy some stuff. This is like completely reckless shopping. Do this at the cubicle, okay? Just keep clicking and buying stuff. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's let's fight. May. Um, did you get an HM slave? I I did not yet. Um, I'm gonna assume that in the forest I can catch something that can. Uh, yeah, that can learn cut damn wingles fast This, uh, the game's music is really interesting. Um, I don't know if also Jules can actually defeat Trico, but we'll see. Yeah, he's level 15. It's gonna suck. Okay. Good thing I'm not playing a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, that sucks. Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die? I'm probably gonna die. Unless the AI is really dumb. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to, uh... Jules. Alright. Am I gonna die? 
I mean, I think this is the only way to survive. The only way to survive is to mud slap him every three turns such that he misses absorb. Yeah, and if he crits me, I'm dead. I'm gonna vote for the next Pokemon the same thing named Ro. Okay. I probably should have leveled up Talo a little bit more. Ouch. So, question for you. How come you didn't miss? Please? Thank you. This is like the only way I can win. <laughs> it's a use mud slap. This is pathetic. Oh, this is gonna be fine, because, um, I mud-slapped him a bunch of times, so I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the only stupid way to to win the win the battle. It was really dumb. My Taylor was just very underleveled. Uh, I get this double battle though, so um, this is not a Nuzlocke. If it was, I'd be, be dead already. Um, hmm. Okay, this doesn't seem all that hard. Give me one second. Hey, also jewels. Okay, I don't have cut. Can't actually get in there. <laughs> Alright, so let's find some random HM dude. I don't think he can learn cut. He can learn cut. Okay, let's get him. Cool. Alright. 
Let's get it. He better know cut. Oh, okay, he can't learn cut. I thought he could. That was probably Zigzagoon. Okay. Maybe there's something here. Yeah, I, I know Zigzagoon can, like, for sure learn cut. I thought Puchiana could too. Uh, but I was not correct. Wow, he sucks. I think sub 3 world records definitely doable. It's just a matter of time. Like, I think in my lifetime, for sure. What? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run from this. Wingle. Maybe I should get Wingle. Eh, you know what? Not really. So right now, we're just trying to get an HM slave for cut. <laughs> um, but perhaps I'm in the wrong patch of grass. Who knows? Okay, so I'm gonna go through two more wild Pokemon and if I don't get anything I'm just gonna move on and uh, yeah how far am I gonna get into a game the game well hopefully I'll, I'll beat it I'll probably play a few more hours today and then I'll finish it up tomorrow or something all right one more wild Pokemon and then I'm gonna move on Okay. I'm not going back to Route 1. That's weak. What's Square 1? Uh, people... People will, uh... Like the Volt 2 the best, right? Alright. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I can... I can stream a Nuzlocke next time, but I might have to play it at, like, extra fast speed. Because I, I probably won't want to, um... Yeah, play it at normal speed. It'll be real slow. Yeah, it's crazy how there's cell reception in the middle of, like, nowhere. So question, if the other people can swim in this game, why can't you? Oops, did I just sail back to Petalburg? That was lame. I was trying to maintain a conversation with him. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back then. <laughs> oh, that was a waste of time. Okay. Okay, so let, let me actually go to Duford and not not touch touch the game. <clears throat> um Yeah, Nuz Nuzleaf and Breloom. Yep, yep, yep. 
Hello Weston, thank you for joining. It's been a while. Hope you're doing well. Okay, all right. Yeah, don't talk to me. Oh, what do you want? <laughs> Where do female swimmers keep their Pokeballs if they're wearing a swimsuit? I don't know. Please don't poison me. I really don't want to be poisoned. Okay. Okay. Oh! Does this Talo have guts? Is that... Do Talos have that ability? Oh! <laughs> thank you for watching my old OH averages back when I actually turned really fast. Oh no, he's poisoned. Okay, it's okay. Survived. <sighs> Do you want to fight him? Sure, I'll fight him. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess it had guts because it just hit like a truck. It hit really hard. <laughs> Magikarp is such a cool Pokemon. Oh, well, I play black and white. I mean, I I could. Will you name your next Pokemon the Westonian? Sure, if it if it fits. That sucked. Don't poison me. I don't wanna. It's funny how the bird Pokemon, when it's confused, it has the birds flying over its head. It's very meta. Yeah, Magikarp evolves into Gyarados. And, um... Yeah, Gyarados is really strong in RSE. Because um, Hidden Power Flying was physical, and so, yeah, it was just, it was pretty strong. Cool. Okay, maybe there's something in the cave that can learn cut. No, don't, no, I don't want to register you. Come on, dude, leave me alone. There's nothing here? Okay, that's what I thought. Hello. Okay. Is there anything wild in here that can learn cut? I don't think I actually need cut in this part of the game. So, yeah, I mean, not the end of the world if I don't have it. Sweet, level 13. Wing attack. Sure. Okay, I think wing attack is all I need. And then I can start farming the uh, the gym trainers. Ooh, 
Makuhita is cool. Okay, let's go heal up and then... Uh, MTC Elite or Tangyun? Tangyun, for sure. I think the MGC Elite is a little heavy. Okay, so this is the gym where you don't have any vision whatsoever. Okay, so this is like pretty much how League of Legends is when you play with people who are like gold. You can't see anything and people are okay with it. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Cool. The Kugum Chi E Mega Mink sculpted? You mean something on on Amazon? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> this better not be a dead end. Oh, I think it's a double battle. Okay. It's funny, the because the F in Japanese is like an H, so it's like ooh hoo hoo hoo. But they just I think when they localized the game they just kept the F. <laughs> Meditite. Oh. Bide. What a genius attack. Cool. They're giving really good experience. Oh, you, I don't know when the hottest is not like just lose this way. Hey, we got 700 big ones. Sweet. Everyone on the stream, uh, thank you for hanging out with me, just playing the casual game of Pokemon. Um, Volcalite or Organic S. I like the Volcalite better. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, I should have known that. <laughs> uh, will we be at the C CFC or Westchester comps? Yeah, you know, actually the Westchester comp is you can walk to our office from that competition. So, if you want to, like, walk to our office, you could totally do that. It, it, it's like a 10 minute walk. I think. Probably. 15 minutes at most. But, uh, it, it's really close. Hopefully it doesn't get cancelled. Because, uh, yeah, these competitions... Should I, should I get her too? I guess so. Use the experience. Pull out any puzzles? I don't have any puzzles. This room has no puzzles. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, level 16. Nice, nice. Battle girl Jocelyn. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Brawly. Who's also a, a Dragon Ball character. A very cool Dragon Ball character. <laughs> Cubologist. You should play Pokemon game. It's really fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> hey, what level do I learn Muddy Water? I don't know. Kakarot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Weston's Japanese. But, um, yeah, we actually have a... A, uh, an application open for sponsorees and uh, product testers and brand ambassadors, so submit an application. I did not expect to crit that. Is that Focus Punch? Might tackle better not miss. <laughs> I, um... Oh, is Muddy Water Gen 4? Are you sure? I don't know. I forgot. You know what the most troll move is? Scald. Scald is such a douchebag attack. Why are all the Pokemon jewels? Oh, he knows Vital Throw. Okay. Should probably... Like, heal up. Vital Throw doesn't miss, so... Yeah, hopefully I can... Oof. Yeah. Oh my god, he crit me twice. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty much dead, so I'm gonna have to come back. Okay. Kinda sucks. <laughs> down here. Uh, this is not supposed to be a speed run. I'm not really paying attention to anything. I'm reading comments while I do this, so... Please don't crit me. Thank you. How do we find out the results of our application? That's a good question. Uh, we will contact you if, uh, if we accept your application. We will also contact you if we have any questions for you about the application. Yep. And uh, if people like the stream, I'll go and get a capture card. And, uh, we will stream more Pokemon. How many potions do you have, bruh? Dude. I like how this Metatite... It's just like, he doesn't care about anything, and we'll just focus punch. Yep, got a drink. Yes, I have bottled water. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so it's also a good thing I don't have, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, hey, Yu Sheng Du. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing this game. Yeah. Shen Qi Bao Bei, right? <laughs> Is that still what you call Pokemon in uh, Chinese? Hopefully this dude doesn't have any more super potions, and hopefully he doesn't crit me. Of course he has Citrus Berry. Okay, I think that's two water guns, right? Uh, especially if he brings me to torrent range. Like if I'm... yeah, this is a kill right here. Cool. How do we choose our sponsories? Uh, that is a, a good question. So, um, we want you to have a, a good personality, good presentation skills. Uh, remember that the sponsorship is both for our benefit and also for yours. So we want to see some initiative in you wanting to grow your own channel and you improving. So, you know, the, the dream is to improve together. Hell yeah. Okay. I keep forgetting you can't run in this building, or any buildings for that matter. It's very disappointing. Oops. I knew my way around this place better when it was dark. <laughs> I'm not sure if the crit mattered, like... Because I had torrent. I don't know. I mean, judging by how much the guy crit me the last game... You know, I, I don't feel... I don't feel bad. Usually, if I'm playing, like, OU and I crit someone, like, I apologize, but not here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so, um... Where do I go? Is there Abra in this cave? That's pretty cool. Oh, hey! <laughs> Who knew? Okay, so Abra teleports. Um, so I'm just gonna chuck a Great Ball. Yep. Oh, okay. Alright. Goodbye. I don't know why they made Abra so troll. Like... Dude, come on. This guy. Oh, the animation's so cute. Do you have to have a certain amount of followers or subscribers to be an ambassador? No. Uh, our application is holistic. And so it completely, you know, it depends on all the factors. Yeah, I, I know we can't get Alakazam. I just want him because he, he can learn Flash. But if I waste my Great Ball, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> So now we can explore this cave. What? Is, was Flash not good enough to illuminate the whole cave? <laughs> okay. This guy can learn cut. This guy is good. Um, yeah, I just have to like... 
not kill it. Oh, okay. I kind of should have known that. Zubat. Eh, whatever, just kill it. Granite Cave. I think there's something here, right? Is there an item here? I don't know. Okay, this time I will straight up tackle him and see if if I'm okay. Oh, okay. Um, that does like not enough damage. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Let's just throw a Pokeball at it and see what happens. I might get lucky or I'll waste the Pokeball which is what, like a hundred... 200 bucks. <laughs> okay, that didn't work, obviously. Oh, good. Harden. Awesome. Maybe this will make my Mud Slap not KO. There we go. That's great. Great, great, great. Excellent. Uh, you can apply any time for sponsorship. But, gotta make sure that your application makes sense. And, uh, yes, I'm very well aware Aaron is a steel type. Uh, dude bug, this is not a Nuzlocke, because if it was, I'd be, like, I'd be dead already. Oh, is this an item here? No. I remember there, there being an item somewhere. Oh, it's right up there. This item is actually helpful. Uh, Cube Coma is still shipping, yes. We're still doing it. I think the U perm is the best, right? You can do it from like any angle. H perm is nice too, because it's symmetrical. Yeah. The Everstone is not very useful. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to waste my repels. I'm already close enough to the end. Wow, I ran a very long distance without encountering anything. That's pretty crazy. YouTube is not a requirement for sponsorship. It'd be nice if you had one, but... You don't have to. Alright, here's Steven. My name is Steven. I like rare stones. So I barricaded myself in this cave for you to find me. Okay. Yeah, you can still order from the cubicle. Most certainly. Okay. Alright, Steven. Thank you. Save the game real quick. What Pokemon do you have at the moment? That's a good question. So I have uh, Marshtomp, Talo, Puchiana, Abra, and Aaron. Uh, I'm not going to keep a lot of these Pokemon. Um, so I'll rename them, uh, you know, as I go. 
think Steel Wing would be good on Talo, right? I'm gonna keep Talo. Probably Focus Energy. Okay. Oh no, I already taught Flash. Let's teach Cut. Alright. Um, Harden. So now my, my guy has three normal attacks of varying power. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Geodude. What happened to my Ralts? It was never my Ralts, it was Wally's. Yeah, Wally is the character with the Ralts in this game. What is this? Oh no, I don't want that. Alright, let's get some... Ugh. Oh, why am I here? I don't want to be here. Alright, so... We want to go to Slateport. So there's a house. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess so. Wow, she like ambushed me. <sighs> and uh, guys, you don't have to be anything specific to be sponsored. You just need to convince us to sponsor you. Some people use their speed to convince us. Some people, you know, use their personality. There are a lot of things that you can do to uh, attract sponsorship from uh, a company. And uh, yeah, thanks for staying up until 4 a.m. That was uh, really cool of you. So yeah, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully we can catch you at a better time. This is afternoon for me, so you know, it's uh, convenient for me. But I do understand there are people. It's nighttime in Europe and Asia is probably yeah, pretty late. When will sponsorships be announced? So we're going to be doing it on a rolling basis. So we'll be... Uh, yeah, we'll be contacting people whenever we run into their application and think that there's something we can do with them. Uh, Zigzagoon, okay. Can you apply as many times as you want? I mean, technically you could. Like, it's not against any rules, but if you do that, you'll probably annoy the people reading the sponsorship applications, and at that point it might not be productive, so be smart, right? It's crazy how this Zigzagoon has surf. Who knew? <laughs> Okay, apparently this little child has a... Oh yeah, this is the thing. You get you get some free, like, soda or something. Let's get it. Because I know some, some dumb guy's gonna crit me and I'm gonna need the potion. Uh, I think we can complete Emerald by tomorrow. Azurong's normal type, right? Yeah. It doesn't get its water type until later. <laughs> Cubologist, did you spell emerald wrong? Are you serious? Bruh. Cubologist, man. 
<laughs> nah, he's good. Meryl, sure. Uh, let me charge my phone. Yep, uh, I should be streaming tomorrow. Yeah, if I don't finish this game, which I probably won't, uh, I'll, like, play tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be fun. I feel like this soundtrack is from... It's it's the same song as Vermilion City, right? In, uh, GSE. Or G GSC. I don't know. Damn supersonic. <laughs> that was very lucky. Not that I needed it, but... Yeah, we are making so much money. Can someone that's sponsored by the cubicle still be allowed to order from other sites? I don't know what you do with your what you do with your money is completely up to you. Um, but uh, I mean, obviously, if you're sponsored by a brand, the brand won't want you to promote competing brands. But what you do with your money is up to you. You know, we're we're your sponsor, not your parents, right? So. Yep, GSC Vermilion. Nice. I love Gold and Silver. Such a fun game. What defines competitive speedcuber? That's, um... That's hard. I mean... It really depends on, like, how... How, like, general and definitional you want to be. Like, anybody who goes to a competition who intends to compete, you can say is a competitive speedcuber. Maybe that doesn't make you happy, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways to define it. For some reason, Tentacool gives a lot of experience. No idea why. <laughs> also, Jules looks so indignant. Alright, so I got some soda pops. Pretty sweet. Alright, so maybe I'll heal up and then I'll... Oh, this is the thing where they're like, oh, look at this exhibit. Thoughts of the new Pokemon Sword and Shields? I actually didn't like it very much, but I played through it and I appreciate the experience. Um... Yeah, appreciate the experience, but it wasn't that sharp of a game for me. I don't think I enjoyed it all too much. I just, like, played it out of, uh, obligation. Yeah, I mean, sell my Stardust. Uh, what is that worth? A thousand? Yeah. And might as well sell the Everstone, I don't need it in the inventory. <laughs> Breloom. Well, I don't have a Shroomish, so... What do you want? Oh. This is Roxanne, if you're moving up the ranks, yep. Sure. Sure, Roxanne, thank you. talk to this guy in here? Probably not. Oh, 
Yeah, we need to talk to him. So everyone just wants you to do the work for them. It's kind of silly. They don't pay you. It's like child labor at its finest. Yeah, 50 bucks, you leech. Yeah, don't mind the random pirate thugs in the museum. <laughs> hey, bud. Yeah. Now you're a courier. Oof. Ah, Carvana. Cool, cool, cool. That's the one with rough skin, right? Yeah, just don't touch it, I guess. Battle Frontier streams? Oh, that's funny. Um, probably I'll just go on Showdown and start laddering. Yeah. I am not, like, super well-trained to play uh, Sword and Shield. I mean, I can, I can play to a reasonable degree. I probably... Got to like 1700, 1800, just, I copied some guy's team and just played that, but um, I can play Rambat. Rambat's pretty good. Carvana. Yeah, showdown laddering. I think the, the types of people who would want to watch Showdown Laddering is, like, significantly, yeah, smaller than this game. So, might just, like, stream to, like, five people. <laughs> okay, so we defeated them. Pretty good. Alright, so this guy... So, one thing I never quite understood was, like the villains of this game. So you have one that are like, yeah, we need more water, expand the sea. And the other one's like, we need more landmass, expand the land. But like, why? <laughs> what's, what's the point, right? For what? Um, yeah, like, have you thought about how damaging it will be to the ecosystem? Pretty, pretty frightening stuff, dude. What do you want? Is this thief? I don't I don't actually remember. Okay, don't even tell me. Yeah, a lot of dark moves aren't great in this game because they're um special. My name is Scott. Yeah. You seem like an okay guy, just forget I treated you like a complete jerk last time. Um, hey, uh, yeah, if you got more than, so if you're, uh, if you're international, we don't offer free shipping, but if you want to place a big order, we can give you a bigger discount, so for that, just, uh, send me an email, and, uh, we'll hook you up. Alright, do I need Rock Smash? Oh, hey, it's this guy. Uh... <sighs> okay. See ya. Okay, let's fight them. These are like wannabe Pikachus. Come on, dude. They probably have static. I'm probably gonna paralyze my jewels. Oh. Good thing. Good thing he didn't get paralyzed. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness. What is the point of this? What is the point of this? Uh, no, those weren't the last in stock for the GTS 2s. Um, we, uh, we have more. I never really understood Plus and Minin. Ow. <laughs> hey, jewels. I mean, also jewels, because jewels is a ground type. Double team. Uh, I guess I can learn double team. Sure, I'll learn double team just in case I need to to do some uh, do some hacky, stupid cheating. That was actually quite a long battle. Uh, hopefully, we'll be doing that again soon. Hmm. This doesn't lead anywhere, right? No. Okay, don't affect spore me, thank you. Thoughts on NA champs for possible cancellation? I mean, it's possible. Give the organization team some space to make a decision. You know, these decisions are not not really uh, not really easy to make, right? Wow, 450 experience. That's crazy. Okay, I'm glad I went this way. His line of sight was pretty long. Uh, okay. Skitty. Sure. Hmm. I never understood Double Slap. The attack's name is Double Slap, but it can hit you more than twice? Orange berry, okay. Do you have a favorite Pokemon? Yes, I do. I like Skarmory a lot. I stacked lots of spikes back in the day. Okay, so this this doesn't get me anywhere. Um, I guess I'll just battle these people and go the other way. Oh, no, I don't need Rock Smash. If I go, I'll... I'll, I'll go to, I guess it's Mauville, right? Yeah, do you guys have a favorite Pokémon? Yeah, you keep asking me questions, but uh, if, you, if you have a favorite Pokémon, definitely comment. And if uh, I can easily catch one, I'll go and try to catch one. Uh, also, there are going to be a lot of wild Pokemon coming up, so if uh, if I catch one, what should I name it? That's a question that I hope you guys can answer too. Oh, come on. That's lame. Lucario was really busted in Gen 4. Um, 
But maybe that's because Salamence was busted in Gen 4. <laughs> yeah. Before Salamence got the ban. Um, yeah. Busted. Like, even if you can check Salamence, you can't. You can't check uh, Salamence and Lucario, right? <laughs> Gulpin. I don't know about that one. I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. I guess I will too eventually if I keep walking around. You can get these in the grass? Electrike. Manetric is a cool Pokemon. What is my official PB? I think single is like 7.6 and average is like 10.19. Yeah. Being cool isn't enough to win. I don't know if you were cool at all. <laughs> Probably can't evolve Oddish. Long time no see. What, it's been an hour? Half an hour? Supersonic has the accuracy of, like, what, 55? Yeah. What is my at-home PB? Singles, like, 5.2. Average is... Like, mid-7. Yeah. I'm okay at cubing. I'm, like, not super great, but I'm, like, serviceable. Pursuit. Such a weak attack. Do you have a... Oh no, good. No item. Okay. 600! 600 is great. <laughs> serviceable yeah I mean I, I spend a lot of time around people who like we sponsor and they're all world-class cubers and they're better than me that's why I feel only serviceable I know in the grand scheme of things I've been cubing for a long time and I'm like pretty decent but yeah it doesn't feel that way because like I talk to like Timon and Lucas and they're like averaging like five so yeah Okay, I'm like one one game like one wild Pokemon away from oh come on. Miguel? You called me because you lost the battle? Okay. <laughs> uh oh! Why don't I catch Electrike? Yeah. Let's let's do that. Uh, do you guys want me to stream League? Yeah, if you if you want, uh, yeah, comment in the uh, in the comments, and I will consider it. I'm not really very high rank right now, so no one will actually be able to like watch my stream and be in my game because there's so many other people that are around the same ELO. But uh, oh shoot. I forgot to name the Electrike. 
Okay, I guess I'll catch another Electric and... And, uh... Electrocubers. Okay, alright. Uh, I will do that, Mr. Stinson. I need to actually go find one, though. Yep. So, for for League, I don't play any. I am a... I am a Fiddlesticks one-trick. So I play Fiddlesticks. And, uh, I'm really sad that Fiddlesticks is getting reworked. Because, uh, I like Fiddlesticks. Uh, I do- I don't think I have the coronavirus. I don't have any of the symptoms. Um, yeah, no sore throat, no, no fever. Yeah. I'm probably not intending to backtrack. Um, so, Fiddlesticks all lanes. <laughs> uh, I play Fiddlesticks support. Um, I would also play Fiddlesticks jungle. But, uh... Fiddlesticks jungle is really hard to play in, like, anything that's not diamond. Oh, here's another, uh, Electric. I'll just catch him. Uh, the reason is, uh, most people don't control the vision well enough, and you can't, it's not safe to, to ult from a lot of places, because the vision is completely, it doesn't exist. So, Fiddlesticks jungle is really hard to play. But uh, I do play Fiddlestick support. He has great poke and lane. Uh, good gank assist. His poke is really safe. Uh, let's see here. Nope. This is the best I can do. Electro Cub. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> New Fiddlesticks is, like, overloaded. I am actually kind of sad that they changed Fiddlesticks, because now people are going to play Fiddlesticks. But, you know, I want to be the guy with the obscure pick. But, um, yeah, if you play Fiddlesticks support, you get uh, a lot of access to vision control, and it's pretty cool. Like, anytime you have your ult, if the opponent is dumb, you can kill them in lane. Okay, so, do I get a bike here? No, this is the bike guy. That guy is just standing there. Rydell, your running shoes are awfully filthy. Okay. Okay, so listen up, guys. This is a sponsorship right here. The guy is like... You can, you can get a bike for free, but you have to advertise it. Is it not? No, there's one where it, it, like, gives you a bike for free, right? Maybe. Um, let's register the mock bike. Let me text Damien really quick. All right. Yeah, and uh, there are a lot of champs that are good in solo queue that are not good in competitive play. Shaco's one of them. I don't remember the last time, like, uh, Shaco was played in, like, a major region pro game. Oh, this is the thing where we, like, destroy Wally and he's like, oh, I want to play. I want to play the gym challenge. <laughs> if I combine forces with Ralts, I mean, if you're in this town and you have a... Oops. Fiddlesticks? <laughs> yeah, Fiddlesticks is a, a, a League of Legends champion. He's a pretty cool dude. Oh, what a troll attack. Sweet. Uh, 
cubing stream. Yeah, perhaps sometime next time. Uncle, I'll go back. What? Scott, hey buddy. Yeah, you destroyed your friend, that's what battles are about. <laughs> okay, so I actually don't want to double battle them. Because Talo is kind of... Yeah. Actually, you know what, on second thought I should have just gone for Electrike. I also assumed they would have electric Pokemon, but apparently they, they don't. What's your top five Pokemon? I don't know, but let me tell you a cool story. So I used to play a lot of um, RSE competitive, and one of my cool builds was... Uh... Oh yeah, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively in 2005. So, I, I'll finish the, the Pokemon story first. So I had a clay doll that was essentially a rapid spinner, but it had choice band and shadow ball. And it would kill any spin blocker that would uh, get switched in on it. It only worked once, because once people saw the team, they were like, oh yeah, that's the choice band clay doll. But, um, yeah. Let me, uh, let me go clean out my box. Um... Electro Cub. Uh, so yeah, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively from the very beginning all the way up to when Dark World was meta. When, oops, when Dark World was meta, I stopped. But uh, I played through a bunch of crazy, crazy metas. Like back when Magic Scientist was um, was not banned and people had like Magical Scientist Catapult Turtle decks. Um, that was really funny. Uh, played through, let me see, uh, all the, all the, like, the hand control and the Yada Garasu. Played through that. Um, yeah. Toolbox Warrior, that was, like, a big thing in the mid-2000s. Played through a lot of very interesting metas. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the the goat. Yeah. That. Uh, I forgot exactly what ban list that was, but I I played tournaments in 2005 and it was fun as hell. Yu-Gi-Oh! was really expensive to play, though, and uh, I was a student back then, right? I was like a high school student, so I had no, like, real income when I was 15. So couldn't really play Yu-Gi-Oh! all that much. Gulpin. <laughs> I love that meta. When you get Delinquent Duo and like Forceful Sentry 
in in your starting hand. Yeah, it was pretty sick. <laughs> Please don't poison me. Uh, how much more ex expensive again the Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh cost hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars to play. Yeah, Gan cubes are are nothing. Okay, I think I'm gonna heal because um, my uh, mud slaps are running low. I hate the poison thing. I'm gl so glad they got rid of it. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh has cost me thousands of dollars, like... I mean, that's how they commercialize the game, right? They, they make it, uh... They make it so that you have to update your, your deck every now and then. I also used to play Magic. Um... This was also mid two thousands. I was never any good, but I, I loved the game. I think it's it, it's a really really good game. Hey, dude, I didn't I didn't pick Torchic. You weren't here, or maybe you were, and I'm just completely wrong. Yeah, my uh, Electro Cub is level thirteen. He's not he's not too strong right now. Yeah, cubing is relatively inexpensive, to be honest. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. I like how Sonic Boom does exactly 20 damage. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I'm gonna have to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch out Electric for Talo. Uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer? I mean, I could. Uh, there's no guarantee I'll finish it. I mean, I'll finish the Nuzlocke part, but, like, I mean, I can just overtrain and not die, but the Randomizer is tricky, right? <laughs> Cubing can get pretty expensive for people that do multi-blind. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's true, but the the percentage of people who do multi-blind is like less than 1%, so... Yeah, on the whole, on average, cubing is pretty... pretty uh, reasonable. Uh, which starter would you choose between Piplup, Chimchar, and Turtwig? Um, I always, I mean, Chimchar has, Infernape has the most competitive viability, so, yeah, that. <coughs> yeah, Infernape was a beast. Hey, Jules is evolving. Hmm. <sighs> What does it mean to be a cubicle ambassador? It means you represent our brand and uh, you represent its values and help promote it in exchange for benefits that we give you. It's either money, free puzzles, combination of both. Yep. Okay, so this old guy. Um... You know how actually dangerous it is to have a gym with walls of electricity? <laughs> okay. Um, how much mud slap do I have? I have a lot. Hmm. 
We'll mud slap KO. Wow, the second rollout only did two damage. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, fire code, or like if anybody just to the wall of electricity, that's a lawsuit right there. <laughs> Malfo government. I mean, like, there's not much of a government, right? Like, oops. There's not much of a, a government. Like, this Watson guy is apparently free to um, renovate the city. So, yeah. Not sure how much care the government is taking here. There are police officers in Pokemon, though. But all they want to do is battle you, not enforce the law. You know? <laughs> Is he faster than me? He's faster than me. What is that? Come on, dude. Manectric. Sure. Might want to use a potion, though. Just in case he does anything dumb. I actually don't know what his moveset is. I forgot. Watch any anime and he weeps here? I watch I watch some anime. It's, it's a very fun very fun mode of expression. I haven't watched anything recently, but um yeah, I do I do like it every now and then. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let me just pop a uh Is that a citrus berry? Yeah. Okay. Just heal up. Just in case. Mud Slap is such a stupid attack. Okay, I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't crit me, because... Oh. Uh, which anime do you enjoy? Oh, uh, I don't know. I haven't seen any that are, like, super compelling recently. I mean, I watch all the mainstream ones, like My Hero Academy. Uh, that one's got a good soundtrack. For sure. I think I like listening to it more than I enjoy watching it, to be honest, but it's pretty fun. Um, crit incoming. <laughs> That's funny. Manga Orange. Orange is the one with the, the guy that shows up and like he's from the future, right? Or something like that. I don't remember. I think I saw some of that. Oops, there's no PP. Wow, what a struggle. Okay. Travel opportunities as an ambassador? Um, we're open to it. It depends what you're going to do with the travel, and uh, it has to make sense. But uh, yeah, definitely we don't rule it out. Yeah, they get letters from the future. I, I remember, I saw the first episode of the anime, and uh, I remember there being like a baseball game. 
I don't think it was a long time ago. I, uh... I never actually finished it, I dropped it. <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't have. So this is the part where Rock Smash is needed. Uh, let's see here. MGC 6, uh, 4 and 7. Yeah, the MGC 4 is more or less done. Um, and uh, 7 is still prototyping. Uh, both are good cubes, but I think the MGC 4 is like especially good. Uh-oh. So, let's just hope that the Rosalia doesn't, um, attack the Marsh Tomp. Okay, I can live with that. Does Rosalia have Poison Pin? I don't even remember. In later gens it has Natural Cure. We don't know. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna fight the family. It's a waste of time. Okay, let's have this double battle. <sighs> Picnicker and Kindler. Yeah, let me just hold my fires out. Have you watched Naruto? Yes, I have. Naruto's pretty... pretty good. Uh, I also watched Boruto. I think, uh... Yeah. I don't know what I think of Boruto, but... They're, they're both very high production values, so it's fun to watch. Yeah. Yep, so I need to need to get Rock Smash. Uh, I should probably go back and do that. Let's get the bicycle out. Is it in this house? Yeah. Am I going to cube live today? Probably not. Um, but uh, next week, I for sure will. Okay, let's see here. Rock smash. Uh, other row. Let's tackle. <laughs> Rock smash, dude. That's funny. This is like identity. Oops, didn't mean to enter the building again. Wally, hey, my uncle bought me a Pokenev. Cool. Nope, don't want to go there. Sweet. So we can't actually go up there yet. Oh, we have a good experience. <clears throat> okay. 
Whismur is such a silly looking Pokemon. <laughs> Guess. What's the stream schedule? We need to come up with one. I haven't really created a schedule. Uh, today's the first uh, first day I'm streaming some some gaming, but uh, I'll talk to my staff and we'll see what we can do to create a schedule. That way you can kind of know when to uh, when to come if you wanna if you wanna watch. Hello, item forgotten. I know you're from Instagram. Okay. Awesome. Who are you? Please let me explain. We travel and interview. Yes. Describe your feelings about our battle. Um, can I input my own thing? No? Okay. A. Yeah, I'm a man of few words. Do you have any other hobbies besides keeping in violin and gaming? Uh, I play a lot of tennis. I used to play competitively. Now I'm 30, so I can't really do that. But uh, I still play a lot. Yeah. Uh, I do try to play tournaments and competitions. Uh, hopefully I can do better. Hello everyone, new to the stream. Welcome. I am on the road to somewhere. Where am I going? Okay, so I can go here. I don't have the goggles. So... Hey, I can catch one of these guys. Let's get him. I think Keaton wanted me to catch one of these guys, right? Um, okay. Sweet. Okay, I think he wanted me to name it Sebastian. Is that right? Do you know what the UTR is? Uh, I don't know. I'm um, NTRP like 4.5, so maybe 8? I don't know. I can check. Let's see, NTRP 4.5. Yeah, yeah, between 8 and 10, so. Yeah, I don't actually know. I haven't played any UTR tournaments. Pokemon trading card game. Yeah, I played it when I was younger. But uh, not very seriously. It, only like the first gen. When people... I think the, the, the deck type was called Haymaker. Where you just had a bunch of cheap, like fast, unevolved Pokemon. Like Electrobuzz. Uh, what was it? Hitmonchan, Scyther. Like that type of meta. Used to play then, but not so much anymore. Okay. Uh, what console? This is Game Boy Advance. Sweet. Yeah, Jules is getting super powerful. Let's use uh, also Jules. Can you say ye, please? Ye? Sure. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so what do I do here? Do I fight this guy? Sure. Yeah, don't worry, I'm also moderating. This Pokemon game is not super intention. Uh... Yep. Uh... So I get, I see the question, should I wait for the MGC4 or get the YLM Yusu? Uh, they're different cubes. The MGC4 is actually, like, pretty close to a flagship, so, you know, it's gonna be more expensive. But, uh, if you want to go as cheap as possible, you're still not, never gonna beat the YLM Yusu, but if you want, like, a good 4x4 that's, like, a little pricier, the MGC4 is really nice. Uh, someone asked what console is this for, so I told him that uh, Pokemon Emerald is for the Game Boy Advance, which is true. Uh, Fiery Path, okay. Uh, probably want to use my Repel here, I don't know. I haven't used the Repel all game. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We have... How many badges do we have? Like, three or four? We have three badges. Okay. This will take some time to save the game. Okay. Why don't we use a repel? Because I really don't want to deal with this. Wonderful. Oh, she turned away. Okay. <laughs> what was the first Pokemon game I played? Pokemon Blue. I was like eight or nine years old. So, yeah. Emerald, uh, they made um, a uh, Ruby Sapphire remake on 3DS. Maybe you're thinking of that. Yeah, the remake is on 3DS, but the original game was um, Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Emerald is a, is a very advanced Game Boy Advance game. For sure. Oh, this guy's name is Bryant. That's actually really sad. Is this the bird guy? Be a bird catcher. Cool trainer. Nope. <laughs> I never understood the cool trainer archetype. Um, what's the best 7x7? Seven seven? My opinion, the spark. How old am I? I am 30. Still playing Pokemon. Whalmer. My, um... My Electrike doesn't have an electric attack. I should probably teach him Shockwave, right? I don't know. Oops, I used Bide. Oops. <laughs> this is gonna do no damage. Boom. Eat that. got the crit. So silly. Uh, that's a lot of experience. It's pretty cool. It's 
Sweet. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's keep going. Oh, this guy's very well spoken. Oh, it's a secret base one. Secret power is actually like a pretty good move. It's what base seventy, base sixty. I forgot. How many algs would you learn per day learning something OLL or OLLCP? Probably one. That's me though, I'm a slow learner. What? Okay, sorry. Game got a little slow. She heals you, this, this lady here. Secret power 70? Yeah, that's what I thought. Do I need those berries? Probably not. Oh my god, she trapped me in the corner. <laughs> oh, okay. Where are you at the game? I actually don't know. We have three badges. I don't know the geography of Hoenn. At all. That's a lot of experience. I kind of have to level up some of my other guys. He's um, a little behind. Uh, favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Gold, Silver, Emerald. That was... Uh, sorry, not Gold, Silver, Emerald. Gold, Silver, Crystal. Emerald is this game. It's definitely not the same generation. Uh, I just liked how big the world was. Oh. Spinda. Spinda is such a derpy Pokemon. Okay, it's time for a repel. Should I bother, like, battling these people? Probably not. Don't really care. Yeah, we should, we should train Electro Cub. <laughs> gotta, yeah, gotta get Electro Cub out, right? Okay, let's do it. Um... Okay, so let's, uh, hey, it's Maddie. <laughs> what? Is that like she's secretly flirting? It's kind of weird, sliding under my parasol. Okay, so let's do this double battle. Uh huh. Hello, KF Cubes. Or KFC oobs. Sweet. Please don't attack Electro Cub, thank you.
Hello, Parts 10L. Welcome to this stream. That did, like, no damage. Please don't kill me. Okay. Sweet. Do I play chess? Uh, I used to. I uh, used to play a lot of chess, but then I stopped, unfortunately. I just um, got really tired of booking up in chess. It was very tedious, and I didn't really enjoy it all too much. That's a disguise kid. What rating was I? Um, I didn't play all that much, but when I play online, it's typically around 1700. It means that I know how to play chess, but it also means that I'm not like good enough to play seriously. Yeah. Yeah, just had no patience for classical chess. <laughs> Meryl and Skarmory. Hey, Skarmory is worth a lot of experience. Um, let's poison Meryl. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess 1700's better than average, that's true, but, um, what did he use, agility? What is that? Ow. Why you do that? Yeah, I, I'm a pretty troll chess player, to be honest. Like, uh, I don't think my Electro Cub is going to survive this this battle. I would be very surprised if it did. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> Do I play any other Pokemon games? Yeah, I've played all the games. Um, uh, I play a lot of Showdown. Not Not so much recently, but I used to play a lot of Showdown. Showdown's fun. Yeah, sorry. My Electro Cup didn't really survive. <laughs> hey, we did it. Yeah, we do sell spare parts. Uh, contact Jules for spare parts. He has all the best prices on the spare parts. Jules at the cubicle dot US. Okay. Um, this is like, what, the digger's house? No. The move tutor. Oh, okay, this is the move tutor. I don't have any hard scales, though. Yeah, sorry.
Is this the guy? Does he give me a, a rod? No? He just tricked me into battling him? <laughs> uh, I don't do squan, but I can learn. I've always wanted to film myself learning how to do something new. to run in this place? <laughs> Fossil Maniac. Okay, that was not productive. Yeah, so a lot of people are asking about the cubicle clock, and uh, we're actually pretty... we're ready to produce it. Um, it's just that we haven't been able to get clock supplies, so... Yeah, it's been kind of difficult. Oh, here's a double battle. Um, uncertainty when we founded the cubicle. No, um, because we were college students with very little to lose. Um, so we kind of just did it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, I mean... There's uncertainty every day, especially given what's happening. You know, it's a crazy world out there, so... Yeah, it's just part of adult life to, to cope with anything that could happen. Literally anything can just... can uh, affect the business. Please don't... okay, good. Woo, that hurt. That was pretty rough. Did I ever get demotivated with cubing? Yes. Um, hey, did, didn't someone say he learns ele uh, an electric attack at 16? Not seeing it. <laughs> um, I... Uh, yeah, definitely was demotivated in the past, uh, especially when I were, went to school and I lost all of the ability to practice. That was pretty discouraging, and I actually quit, like, trying to cube competitively because of it. Um, yeah, it just wasn't the right time and place for it. Uh, how has COVID affected the cubicle? Well, I mean, we've implemented a whole bunch of new safety standards. Um, so that there's, there's one. Uh, but I think it, it's a good habit to be careful and sanitary. Uh, the most frustrating thing is people are dying from this uh, disease. And uh, it's really unfortunate. And I don't think any of these people deserve to, deserve to die. So... That really sucks. I think the biggest inconvenience is, is not to any person's private business, but to the to the global community as a whole. You know, it, it, it made a lot of people uncomfortable and at worst dead. So definitely not good. Wingle. See, I would send out Electro Cub, but I, he doesn't have no electric attack. <laughs> Okay. Cool. Let's register each other. Learn full PLL? You can do it in like a few weeks. I mean, some people learn it really fast, some people don't. It's really up to you. Uh, a few weeks, like two weeks, is very doable. Because a lot of PLLs are just mirrors of each other. Oh, okay, level 20. I have to really wait for that. <laughs> 
Is it hard to learn playing the violin if you know the piano? No, I mean, you can read treble clef, right? So, it's not that hard. Um, violin is a hard instrument to learn, though, because the posture is extremely uh, strict. And tone production is kind of a hard thing to like learn. You kind of pick it up as you go. Of course, there are technical things you can do to um, improve tone production, but it's something you have to feel uh, through your instrument. So, yeah, it's not easy. Not easy. Jules is really leveling up. Takedown? Not really all that interested in takedown. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Leave me alone, please. Oh, he's super weak. I guess being level 31 has its... has its benefits. <laughs> uh, violin? I used to be good. Um, I, uh, don't really practice very much now, so I can't say I'm good. But I used to be pretty decent. should have just had a tackle. Is there a budget violin that you can recommend? Yeah, so this is a thing, like violins, most of them are handmade, so they're not like mass produced. If you actually want a violin, email me. I actually operate a violin store, and I can probably get you a violin. So yeah, if you want a violin and you're actually serious, come talk to me. violins are um, you can get like cheap garbage violins for like 200 bucks and they'll sound awful um, but uh, yeah you can get away with a violin of that price range yep I have a violin store uh, we used to do a lot of restorations on old instruments, so we got them from auctions, and we'd restore them. It was a lot of fun, but very stressful. Uh, Tangyun V2, trying to get samples of it. Not yet, but uh, the Tangyun's a great cube. I like the Tangyun a lot, so... Um, yeah, as soon as I get it, I will let everyone know about it, for sure. Do I need to use another repel? Are there any good Pokemon? I know there's Soul Rock in this cave. Soul Rock's pretty cool. Yeah, let's go disclose our evil plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a. I'm a go do evil. <sighs> he engaged in destruction? What? <laughs> this is crazy. What do you want? Wow, how gullible are you, dude? Is there anything up here? Yeah. The Moonstone that I will probably never actually use. Is there something here? I thought there might be something here. Okay, I guess, I guess not.
Yeah, well, I can't even get on the water right now, so there's really nothing I can do. Yeah, Baggin sounds cool. Salamence was such a cool Pokemon. I remember he got banned in the middle of Gen 4. Wait a second. Oh, the starter was Mudkip. So, now it's a Marsh Tomp. Yeah, it's level 31 or something. <sighs> Hello everyone on the stream. I uh, don't know where I'm going. Okay, I see an item there. Is it a good item? I don't know. Yeah, Me Mega Salamence was busted. Yeah, I, I remember, yeah, Moxie Salamence was kind of like overtuned as well. Ah, uh, sorry, I can't I can't rename Electro Cub. I was asked by Electro Cubber to to name him, so Ah yes, I should have known he had detect. Ouch. Alright. Um Yeah, why don't I just Switch out Electro Cub for also jewels. I'm running out of uh, power points for water gun, so hopefully I can heal up. Hey, he grew to level 17. Sweet. Quick attack. Sure. He's just giant electric dog that can't electric it. <laughs> Alright. Viper, Pretty cool. Hopefully you don't have to detect. Alright, good. How far am I getting today? Maybe I'll get half the badges. Yeah. That sounds about right. I mean, I've been streaming for almost three hours, so... Yeah, it's been a while. Maybe you need to take a break after this. Is Mystic worth it? Yeah, for sure. Mystic is a great lube. Spoink. Like a spring pig. <laughs> Are there anything to keep my eyes open for the next week? I mean, we'll be doing a lot of live streams and uh, maybe some new products if they come in. And, uh, yeah, goodbye for those of you who need to head out. PP up. Sweet. So this brings us back to the uh, Rustboro, right? Oh, okay. And then I can, uh, oops, I can go over here and, no, over here and rock smash the tunnel. I remember this. What's my favorite premium setup for the worm? Uh, definitely Mystic. I like Mystic Worm. Uh, the Mystic Worm is also like a like a really good bestseller. Yeah, people people appreciate it.
Max XS. It's a good cube. It's expensive, but if you, uh, you know, if you have the money and you want a really nice cube, it's a really nice cube. I'm not going to pretend it's not expensive, but yeah. So you're a karate dude, and you can't break the wall. Okay. <laughs> Is this strength? Yep. Yeah. Okay, what is this item? Is it any good? Uh-oh. What do you want? Uh, okay, so I see a question about the GAN 356XS versus the GAN M. They're different cubes. The 356XS has a ton of customization. The 356M Lite has no customization. <laughs> um, but I really like the 356M Lite. You know, if you're not into like all these crazy bells and whistles, it's definitely, you know, it's a good investment. It's very, uh, very good price to value ratio, price to quality, quality cube. Hey, I'm playing Pokemon while doing a Q&A. It doesn't really take too much effort to play Pokemon, so I'm doing it. Because I'm not trying to go as fast as possible. <laughs> if I was, I'd be in trouble already. What's the cube you're most excited for that's coming out soon? I think it's got to be the MGC4 and the Tengen V2. Both are pretty nice cubes. Do you think the Cuban community will be huge by 2030? I sincerely hope so. You know, I have some influence over that but uh you know not completely influential in that uh but i hope so i hope that there are a lot of people who cube and uh we can all go to comps together gan m or xs i like the gan m you know it's cheaper <laughs> yeah and it's newer it's pretty cool Uh, good budget speed cubes. Actually, yeah. Um, I, uh, I'm, I, I'm getting a package from Chi. Why don't I, why didn't I switch? But I guess Tackle will just kill him. Um, getting a package from Chi with a whole bunch of budget speed cubes that the, the newly made. So, I think that's gonna be pretty good. This is a, a grand waste of time. <laughs> Just mud slap them so that there's no effect spore. Uh... Meryl. I guess this is a good time to get Electro Cub in on some action. How often do you lube your cube if you do daily solves? Probably like 50 solves a day, maybe like once a week. I don't know why I rearranged his attacks. Most of his attacks won't even be there. Oh, that's a good question. Which one is better, XS, Valkyrie, or Moyu Worm? For me, it's the Worm. Uh, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, a lot of uh, other people prefer the other cubes, and they're better than me. So, yeah. <laughs> Max does work on big cubes. It's a, it's a good overall loop. Max fleet is really fast. God, this is such a waste of time. 
Uh, why did I run into him? <laughs> Hey, no, I didn't answer about the Tengyun V2. I actually don't have the Tengyun V2, so I can't actually tell you which is better. But once I get it, I will release a video. And, you know, I will tell you all about my opinion. And, of course, when the cube releases, you guys can get it, and you'll have your own opinion, for sure. Uh, how do you go about purchasing and acquiring new cubes for myself? Um... I pay for cubes. I get an employee discount because I'm an employee. But, you know, I'm not going to take cubes for free just because I own the business. Um, that's a little, you know, presumptuous. Uh, we give free cubes to sponsorees. Um, please, I don't want to run into anyone. No! <laughs> um, yeah, but... Uh, yeah, sponsorees get free stuff. Employees get an employee discount. Am I enemies with Speed Cube Shop? Uh, we are competitors. So, there's that. And uh, I find a lot of their lube products to be rather unoriginal, but, you know, I don't think enemy describes it. I mean, we're just regular competitors. Um, okay, how do I get around this guy? Just sneak around him. Sweet. So, where am I? I'm at Mauville again? Okay. Hello. Best loop to make quiet? Silk and Mystic are really good for making cubes quiet. Do I know how to solve a 3x3? Three three? Of course not. Okay. Alright, so this is where I have to go up the mountain, right? Cable car. Let's go in the cable car. Yep. Uh, thank you for... for your, uh... wishes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so these guys are fighting with your Puchianas. Or Puchiana, I guess it's a hyena. No, no, I didn't I didn't call anyone out for stealing anything. I don't know where you got that from. I, I never said that. Never said that. I just think if everything is silicone based, you're not getting very far. And... I think most people with sense would know that. Yeah, the Gan I had a lot of text. <laughs> yeah, we're aware Daily Puzzle sells our stuff. We sell it to them. And, uh... Okay. I mean, none taken. If you... If you... If you legit bought Silk and you don't like it, then you can say you don't like it. It does not offend me in the least. Yeah, I have read Harry Potter. Harry Potter's a pretty cool book. Yeah, and uh, I mean, if you wanted to know, Max Park used a ton of silk on his older Gan puzzles, so... Yeah. What's the difference between the Gan Eye and the Gan Eye Play? Um, the Gan Eye Play doesn't have a gyroscope, so you don't, uh, you don't get the cube rotations. Um, but because it doesn't have the gyroscope, it has longer battery life. So... Vortex? I've never tried Vortex. 
but it seems like a poor man's Lubico Black. The reason it doesn't stain is it probably doesn't have any special ingredients other than silicone. Of course, I don't... I don't know that, but, um... Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, alright. Thank you, Stanley Chapel, for hanging out. And, uh, I might end the stream sometime soon and come back tomorrow to finish off the game. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Uh, my hands are getting a little tired. <laughs> but I also want to finish, like, a like a decent chunk of this. Yeah, if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's completely, completely up to you. And uh, I can't actually tell you what Max Fleet is made of, because uh, it's against our policy. It's a trade secret. Um, but it's not pure silicone with food coloring. Um, so this guy, this guy is like the brains behind Team Magma, apparently. Oh, I have to fight him? Okay. Yeah, one thing I do like about this is that the soundtrack is, like, pretty good. Oh, uh, is the cost of shipping affected by how far you are? Yes. Definitely. And it's not me that's making, um, the, uh shipping costs more money, it's the post office. We charge exactly what the post office charges. Nothing more, nothing less, and uh, yeah, it's just to cover shipping. Cool. Might Yina. Zubat, probably switch out. Because I have a minus one accuracy. Do you know about Cube Lilo? Of course I have Cube Lilo, which is not true. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, I don't understand that mode of advertising. Might be... Might be actually losing credibility. I don't know. That's for them to decide. Okay, so we beat this guy. Uh, he will back off. Okay. Hoo hoo hoo. Alright. And then Archie is like, oh hey. Whose side are you on? I don't know. Uh, why don't we supply Cube Lilo our lubes? Um, you know, that's up to them to decide. They need to decide they want to stock it and then we can supply it. You know, it's not like we can force them to to do anything in particular. They're a business, and they get to make their own choices. For sure. Yeah, I'll buy a cookie. All right. Okay. Okay, so here's how it's going to go. I'm going to beat Flannery and then end the stream. It'll essentially be um, four badges, so maybe I'll do the rest of it tomorrow. Lubco Black is not as effective on Big Cube, so it has to be an odd number Big Cube, because even number Big Cube doesn't turn the same way. It's good on odd number Big Cubes. Uh, Mystic can make Gan Cubes very quiet, for sure. Mystic has uh, a lot of cushion to it. Hey guys, what's up? What are you doing here? What am I doing? 
<laughs> yeah, so, uh, Derpy Cuber. Uh, yeah, if you're streaming Pokemon Black, yeah, definitely go check out a stream. Let's all play Pokemon together. <laughs> Uh, Cyclone Boys 4x4 is pretty good, but it's not as good as the MGC 4x4. I think the MGC 4x4 is much better. Um, Command is not as fast as Lubical Black. Lubical Black is, as a core loop, it makes the cube as fast as possible. The difference between water-based lubes and silicone-based lubes. Um, yeah, so that's a, a question we get a lot, and, uh, I would say texture is a very big difference. Uh, water-based lubes typically don't have many, uh, qualities of, like, cushioning, while silicone lubes do, and, uh, water-based lubes you can get to be a lot faster. Shroomish and Magnemite. Okay. So let's KO the Magnemite. I'm still waiting for uh, level 20 on Electric Hub. Yeah, Pokemon Black is cool. I think N is a pretty cool character. Black 2 was a nice game too. I liked the, uh, the Pokemon World Tournament. That was very good replay value. Yeah, the MTC 5 and 6 definitely surprised me, especially the 6x6. So many top pros are using it now. It's really cool. One last trainer. Mystic or DNM? I think DNM has a little more uh, universal appeal, because you can use it on anything. And uh, there is an MGC 4x4. It's not released, but it's really good. I have a prototype. And uh, it's a quality 4x4. Very good. I talk to YJ about it every now and then, and they're very excited. My PB is 5.2 something. Okay. Um, this guy doesn't have an electric attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like Angstrom. Uh, I think Angstrom is better on Gan Cubes. Did he crit me? Okay. Yeah, Pokemon Black was so cool. I remember the first time I played it, I got on the bridge and I walked across the bridge and I got chills, because I mean, I grew up, you know, playing Pokemon Blue, so yeah, it was uh, very impressive. Never played Animal Crossing. Let's get some items here. Yeah, just randomly shop for stuff. Yeah, no need to save money here. <laughs> did we get an Outwang WRM prototype? We did. Maybe I can show it on stream sometime. But uh, it's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to beat this gym, and then I'm going to cut the stream for now. Uh, and then come back tomorrow. I think Rue is great. I mean, there are people who are super world-class who use Rue. So, you know, you can't say it's a bad method. It's good for 3x3 and OH, though... It is, uh, people struggle with big cubes sometimes. That's why you don't see too many 
Root solvers, two bit cubes. Hmm. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, mono fighting type. I might have to do a challenge like that. Maybe the next one I can do a Nuzlocke of uh, some other game. <laughs> okay. Do you think Moyu will start using the same magnet system as Gan? Uh, that's a really vague question, because both of them have different magnet systems. Uh, if I if I'm thinking what you're thinking, I think um, I mean Moyu came up with it first in the EDM, and then Gan imitated it in the in the XS. So might be the other way around. <laughs> Minecraft server? That sounds interesting. I, I don't play Minecraft, but might be interesting to, to look into. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of know what the price of the MGC will be. Uh, probably shouldn't say at this point. But, uh... Yeah. Who's faster, Felix or Max? Well, considering Felix is ranked higher, Felix is faster. How should I set up my GAN XS? I like Angstrom on GAN cubes, so yeah, definitely I recommend that. Uh, what's my favorite Pokemon game? Uh, I like Gold and Silver, like for sure. Um, it's just so cool that the world is so big. Like, I love taking the train and the ship to like Kanto from Johto or the other way around. The world felt so nice and big. Uh, it was definitely a, a great game. Maybe I can stream that sometime. Oh, I should have known. Um, other companies put magnets centers like Chi. Dude, we actually showed them that in 2018. Yeah, we legit just messaged them and be like, hey, you can put magnets in the centers. And they were like, oh, cool. <laughs> What's my favorite shiny Pokemon? I have no idea. My favorite Pokemon is Skarmory, so... Maybe shiny Skarmory? I don't know. What's the most asked question today? How do I get sponsored? <laughs> I should make a video on that. Probably will do that very soon. Yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of videos this week and doing a lot of live streams. So, I actually don't know my way around this gym. So, I guess I'll, like, find out. 
Oh, okay, so that was not correct. It was the other one. But it's okay, this guy, like, gives free experience, so... Do we have any upcoming lubes? No, but we have an upcoming lube product that is very interesting. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it, but it's very interesting. Um, do you consider Mott's Fog still top 10 in the world? I mean, is he top 10 in the world or is he not? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's do that again, except go through the other one. Okay, maybe it's that one. So this is the one I didn't go to. Is it it? Nope. It was the other one. <laughs> Wait a second. Am I getting lost in this? Alright, let me, let me focus here. So I went to the one on the left. So I need to go to the second one and then the one on the right. Do I play auto chess? Yes, I do. Uh, I played Teamfight Tactics in League. I played Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I played Chess Rush. But, um, yeah, I never played Dota auto chess. Yeah, in fact, I don't think I've ever played Dota, period. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is the last battle, and then uh, I'm going to call it a day for today. I won't have been at this computer for four hours. I'm actually very surprised I didn't need to go to the bathroom. Uh, very proud of myself. But uh... Sunny day. Ooh, this is not great. I think I'm just gonna chill then, right? I kind of don't want to KO him. <laughs> have I played Breath of the Wild? I have not. Um, that's, uh, one thing on my playlist that I really want to, want to get done. Um, the Volcams are, I don't think they're discontinued. We, we're just a little slow to stock the cubes because, um, reasons. Uh, the Chinese labor has been kind of short because of the, uh, the coronavirus. And so they've been having trouble maintaining production of cubes. So, yeah, hopefully after this, the sunlight will die. I have never played Roblox. I kind of joke about Roblox with coworkers because it sounds so similar to Rubik's, but I've never actually played Roblox. Hey. Okay, camera up. Hopefully the sun will be down. Yep, yeah, okay. Cool, that was pretty juicy hit. Does she have a potion? 
Do you think a third retailer would pop up? Sure, it's entirely possible. I mean, if you're thinking of retailers as Cubicle and SES, a third retailer has already popped up. It's Amazon, right? And there's so many other stores in China that you can buy from. Cube Depot exists? Not really, but they kind of exist. You know, there's definitely more than two retailers, but the fact that you're asking that question is really interesting, and it means that Cube, uh, Speed Cube Shop and Cubicle just have more powerful brands. Yep. Ew, no. Leave me alone, man. I don't want it. I'm not attracted. No. Jules fell in love. Oh. And other Jules is dead. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna swap... Jules back. I mean, Cube Depot, it exists. It's a company, and you can give them money, and they'll ship you cubes, but they don't really do anything, right? Beyond, like, stocking products. Oh, White Herb. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, but they're definitely, you know... There's more than two retailers in this country. Okay, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's just attack them. Best setup for Gan XS? I like Angstrom. I think it's a it's a really good setup. Oof, I'm almost dead. Oh. This is so lame. Alright, I'm just going to use water gun. I don't really care. Okay, good. I got lucky. <laughs> Sweet. I hate gained two levels, that's funny. Three levels. Alright, so we defeated Flannery. She gives you overheat, which is not a very useful ability. Can you give us a password to comment on the latest post? Yes. If you're watching the stream and you want to make a comment, comment Bidoof. I think Bidoof is the most powerful Pokemon in all of the Pokemon universe. So, yeah, comment Bidoof and uh, we can see you next time. Alright. So let me heal up and then I'll save the game and I'll probably exit. Favorite mo MOBA game? Definitely League of Legends. I don't really play other MOBAs. I played Arena of Valor for a while and the game was really easy and I stopped playing it. But uh, definitely League. Because uh, League makes a lot of cool media content in, in addition to being a, an interesting game. All right, so uh, that's it. I have played Pokemon for nearly four hours. And uh, yeah, 
I uh, had a lot of fun. We got four badges, so we got pretty far. And we will see you tomorrow. Uh, I will announce the time of the stream tomorrow on our social media. Um, if you want to make a comment, you know, Bidoof, a Pokemon, you know, Bidoof, uh, we could. Um, you don't have to comment, <laughs> it's just for fun. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Uh, definitely uh, the coronavirus has made life pretty difficult 